Dear students, dear parents, welcome to another information video on the education system in Lower Saxony. My name is Karen. I'm originally from New York. I've been living here for 30 years, although I only wanted to come for six months. I will be guiding you through this next video, which focuses on vocational occupations in Germany and the education and training that they require. In Germany, there are many recognized occupations that require formal training. For example, if you want to become a precision optician or bicycle fitter, hairdresser, baker, or tailor. This type of occupation is called an Ausbildungsberuf in German. Ausbildungsberufe is the plural form. Ausbildung means vocational training and Beruf means occupation. They are, of course, open to both men and women. In this video, you will learn how vocational training is organized. There are two different types of training. The first, dual vocational training at a school and company, and the second, full-time school-based vocational training. In both forms of training, the trainees, who are called in German Auszubildende or Azubis for short, learn a profession in theory and in practice, both at school and at a company or facility. We will first explain dual vocational training. Then we will explain school-based vocational training. Another path to an Ausbildungsberuf is explained in our video on full-time vocational school, which we have linked below. Dual vocational training lasts two to three and a half years, depending on the Ausbildungsberuf. It is called dual because it takes place at two training locations, company and school. The training at these two places is coordinated. There are 324 different Ausbildungsberufe that are recognized and are the same throughout all of Germany. During and at the end of vocational training, there are exams with oral, written, and practical tasks. For some Ausbildungsberufe, at least a secondary school leaving certificate is usually required. For other professions, higher school leaving qualifications are also needed. To start a training program, you must apply directly to a training company. The company can choose who it accepts as a trainee. It is therefore possible to do a training program without a school leaving certificate if you find a training place. Without a school leaving certificate, however, it is very difficult to get a training place and above all to pass the exams. This is not always possible, but it is certainly feasible. In dual vocational training, trainees sign a training contract called Ausbildungsvertrag with a company. The trainees receive a monthly pay called Ausbildungsvergütung. The salary varies depending on the occupation and the company. In 2023, it was at least 620 euros per month, but can also be considerably higher. With each year of training, the salary slightly increases. As a rule, trainees learn and work a total of around 40 hours a week. However, in the first year of training, they are only in the company for about 24 hours of this time. They attend vocational school for two days a week. In the subsequent years of training, they are only at vocational school for one day a week. In some occupations, there is block teaching. This means that trainees alternate between a few weeks at a vocational school and a few weeks in the company. At the vocational school, Berufsschule, the trainees mainly learn the theory that is important to the respective occupation and some practical knowledge. In addition, they improve their skills in German, English, and politics but mathematical competencies are also promoted in the vocational learning area. At the training company, trainees learn about practical work and acquire practical skills. They are guided by a trainer, work as part of a team, and are given more and more tasks of their own. If you have passed the final examination in a training program that lasts at least two years, and at the same time have obtained the vocational school certificate, you will automatically also receive the secondary school certificate one called the Sekundär Abschluss 1, depending on the duration of the training program and your academic performance, either as a lower secondary school certificate, intermediate secondary school certificate, or extended intermediate secondary school certificate. If training lasts at least three years, you can also attend additional classes and acquire the Advanced Technical College Entrance Qualification. This allows you to go on to study at a university. However, with a vocational training diploma and subsequent work experience, it is even possible to study without a Fachhochschulreife or Abitur. After completing vocational training, you are not automatically hired by a company. You have to apply to get a job. 
A good degree is very helpful in this regard. Now we will talk about the second type of training, full-time school-based vocational training. Some professions can only be learned with school-based training. For example, some education and health professions, or professions in the fields of foreign languages, technology, and media. School-based vocational training usually lasts two to three years. The trainees then attend the vocational school for vocational qualification. This type of school is called a Berufsqualifizierende Berufsfachschule, BBF for short. In between, they get to know the work in the company or in the facility during practical phases. At the Berufsqualifizierende Berufsfachschule, trainees have theoretical and practical lessons related to their occupation. They also further develop their skills in general education subjects. For a school-based vocational education, you must apply directly to the Berufsqualifizierende Berufsfachschule. However, some training courses also require a contract with a facility or company. A school leaving certificate is always a prerequisite for this. For most school-based training programs, at least the Intermediate Secondary School Leaving Certificate 1, Realschulabschluss, is required. For a few training programs, the Lower Secondary School Leaving Certificate 1, Hauptschulabschluss, and very rarely also the Hauptschulabschluss after Grade 9 is sufficient. At state schools, education is tuition-free. Starting in the 2023-24 school year, almost all educational programs in private schools will also be tuition-free. Here, it is important to find out exactly beforehand. In some school-based vocational training programs, trainees receive a salary, just like in dual vocational training, for example, in nursing training, but this is not the rule. Upon completion of the training, the trainee usually earns a secondary school diploma, the Sekundarabschluss 1. Depending on the occupation and the performance achieved, it is also possible to obtain an extended secondary school leaving certificate 1, or, with additional classes, the Advanced Technical College Entrance Qualification. With a school-based training qualification and subsequent work experience, it is also possible to study at a university without the Fachhochschulreife, or Abitur. Very few young people know that they can enter and study at a university through vocational training. There is also a lot more information about vocational training that we cannot include here. This is why we suggest gathering very specific information about the profession you are interested in and have a detailed conversation with the counselors at the Employment Agency Agentur für Arbeit or the teachers at a BBS. So, by no means does this video replace a personal consultation. And all information in this video is without guarantee. Here are two more examples of two possible training paths. Natalia leaves the ninth grade of a high school with a secondary school diploma. She is very interested in bicycles and applies for a training program as a bicycle mechanic at a bicycle repair shop. Natalia gets an Ausbildungsplatz, a place in a vocational training program, and graduates after two years. Since she has good grades, the training company offers her the opportunity to continue learning for another year and a half and to graduate as a bicycle mechatronics technician, specializing in bicycle technology. Natalia seizes the opportunity and is subsequently offered a permanent position in the bicycle workshop. Tim leaves the 10th grade of a comprehensive school with an extended secondary school leaving certificate. He wants to become a nursing specialist. This is a full-time school-based vocational training program, but it has a fairly high practical component. Tim applies to a vocational school and for a training place at a nursing home for the elderly. He is accepted to both and graduates as a nursing specialist after three years. During his training, Tim learned about different areas of nursing and found that working in a psychiatric ward particularly interested him. He finds a job in a psychiatric clinic. After three years on the job, Tim decides to study part-time in the bachelor's program, Psychiatric Nursing, so that he can take on more responsibilities afterwards. This video was produced by Migranets, the network of teachers from Lower Saxony with a migration background, the Causa Landesstelle Niedersachsen and the Migranten Eltern Netzwerk Niedersachsen. Links to further explanatory videos and information about the individual school types, as well as our contact details, can be found on the websites linked below. All information is without guarantee and does not replace a personal consultation. 
We are continuously expanding our video offer, so feel free to check back here once in a while. We wish all students a successful school career.